Hey, welcome to the Speedbird shop. Now today I've got my personal ride back in here, 1990 BMW M3. Now for all you German import fans out there, I warn you, it's not quite stock German anymore. Take a look at the outside. We've got all hand-formed steel, fenders and quarters, about two inches wider all the way around than the stock. Big tires, big brakes, and if we look under the hood, I'll show you exactly why we went through all that work. All right, no longer do we have the 2.3 liter I4 under the hood. Now it's a full-blown big cam LS3. Now this guy's popping out about 510 horsepower. Now there's a lot of things like caramel and chocolate that go together. This wasn't one of them. As you can imagine, a lot of cutting, firewalls, custom-made headers, motor mounts, etc. Dual three-inch exhaust. So we've got a lot of things on here with a lot of metal work on it. I'm going to show you under the bottom where we got the foundation for an excellent lubrication system. We're going to work our way back up to the top and do a little add-ons. Let me show you a little tour of the fabrication on the underside. We've got a smoothed out underbody, all hand formed. We've got our dual exhaust transitioning to oval here for good clearance. We've got our X-pipe all handmade. Even along the side here, we've rafted in frame rails to tighten up the chassis. Now, if we look up front, I actually got a nice little souvenir from my last little track day, a little melted tire. But what I really want to show you is the insurance policy right here in the pan. Now, nobody makes a pan for an LS and a BMW. So I started with the rear sump, switched to a front sump for clearance, actually cut out here for the steering rack to pass through. But I've taken away a little volume and I really want to add more. So I've got these extra pockets here holding a lot more oil. I come over to the table, I'm going to show you why you need that extra volume and that extra control. Anytime you're doing some performance driving, you want to get that extra volume in the pan, like these here from Moroso. You can see the extra kickouts here, so you can hold more oil, because what you're doing is you're spending a lot of time at high RPM. So you're pumping a lot of oil up into your engine, all the way up to your valve train. It can't get down fast enough because of gravity, so you end up getting a dry you know, burst into your bearings. You don't get the oil where you need them. You can end up with metal-to-metal -metal contact, and fry that motor in a second. Now, once you've got some volume, you need some control. Now, these aren't LS pans, right? I make them for LS's, small blocks, big blocks, but they also make great control pans, you know, for the imports, right? Your Civic, your Evo 10, your WRX. So, all the guys out there going performance driving are covered. Now, speaking of coverage, if we look in here, we've got control by baffling and things like trap doors. So we let the oil back to the pickup where we need it, but when you're doing some heavy cornering and it's sloshing this way, the door shuts, keeps the oil where you want it. Now, this covers the insurance policy for underside of the car. We're feeding the engine quality oil. We've got to think about some of that combustion gas feeding up into your intake manifold, and that's where I've got to finish this project. So follow me upstairs. I'll show you how to take care of that too. Right, one area that I haven't addressed on the lubrication system is air oil separation. Most engines have some sort of PCV system, but again, they're not meant for high RPMs where you're getting a lot more blow-by past the rings, right? Well, that gas pressure has to go somewhere. It comes out the PCV system. Well, in this case, right, like most cars, it comes out of this port, which is crankcase, and it feeds right into the intake manifold. So you're actually sucking those oil vapors into your combustion system. Well, small doses, that's okay. But large doses, right, from racing, you end up coking valves, you get a lot of carbon deposits. But one of the worst things you can do is oil is a low octane fuel. You can burn it. So it mixes with your premium gas, with your race gas. Well, now you got low octane when you combine them together. So all the spark that you've got in there, you can start knocking. You can do a PI event, pre ignition. You can pop a motor. So what you really want to do is filter that oil out before you ingest it into your intake manifold. So I've got a great little contraption here from Moroso. Now this is an air oil separator. All I'm going to do is get rid of that hose. I'm going to pipe one end from the crankcase, the other end back on the intake manifold, and all the oil magically gets separated out. I'll show you some details over on the bench. All right, now I'm going with the large body setup here, but you can also get different sizes from Moroso. So this is the small body one. You can put them in combination so you can pair them together. The cool thing is Moroso has a kit for just about any car you have out there. Whether it's domestic, whether it's import cars, you get a specific location with instructions. You get all the fasteners, the brackets, the hoses, an adapter, where to put it so it's simple. You drill a couple of holes, fasten the thing together, and you're off and running. Now in my case, right, totally custom, 
I'm gonna use all the things that are in a typical kit, but I'm gonna fabricate my own mounting system. So all I've gotta do is find a good spot for it, and then get to work making some brackets. Hey, what do you think? Got it all installed, everything came out really clean, tucked up nice and tight, and finally, with a little quick welding, there we go, fully mounted, everything's plumbed, looks pretty good, so let's check the cover here for final fit. So, let's see, we'll snap this guy on. Boy, that thing tucks up nice. I think is gonna have to come out with a new part number. I think I'm gonna call it the Hugger. Nice and tight up against that motor. So now we're gonna be breathing some clean air. We've got the oil control on the bottom. I think it's about time to go have some fun. So let me wrap this up. Come join me in the playground.